Let us do some simple things first and follow me. We will write script for Scratch the Cat. Let us go to the looks menu. It has instructions for setting the color, size, and visibility. You can simply scroll down. We can also say hello. It has commands to do this, so let's start. Let's say hello. Then you can change the color effect. Let's go to the change color effect by 25. Let's click on it. You will see the change. I'm just clicking the change color effect. Then you can add think and let's click. If you think it's too fast, let's change the think to two seconds again to detach, drag it down and Drag it back to the code part, simply change it here, and simply click once again, it will run. Now, we cannot see the hello because it's happening too fast. We can actually put a wait instruction to slow th things down. So let's go to control and add Wait one second. So if you want to put a block so in the middle, just simply position it in the middle and it, all, it will automatically stack there. And let's now click. There you see hello before it changes to hmm. What if I want to say hello? And change it hello to all of you. So you simply click and type. Then you can click anywhere. Then this time you click again. You'd see hello to all of you. Then hmm. now let's go to the motion menu. This is where you can locate, orient, or move the sprite. So click motion in our motion in our palette. And then let's move it 10 steps. And then click. Hello. Mm -hmm. And then it moves 10 steps. Now you cannot see the 10 steps. It's too small. Let's change it. Again, just simply click on this white area with the 10. Then let's add one more zero and click there hello hmm. then it changed color and then it moves 10 steps now let me click it again and click it again oops it went out already so it reaches the edge now there is a command that allows you to make it bounce back so simply scroll down in our motion category. You can see here, if on edge, bounce. So click if on edge, then bounce, drag it. And there. If I will keep on clicking this one, it moved and it changed the direction. If I click it again, and again and again so let me just change this to 200 to make it faster there you would see it will happen when it reaches the edge 
the other edge now click once again there it changed the direction so when I click let me just show you one more time you can also see the change in our X and Y and now the direction is negative 90 you can see what will happen it re if it reaches the edge now how do we solve this problem if ever you wanted to go back to a specific location let's first add a backdrop so i can explain it to you better i'll just scroll down and uh, choose the XY grid so if I choose the XY grid you can see here that this is the origin so if you want to go to this location if you want scratch to start here there is a command in the motion go to XY so normally you want to set the sprite in a specific location so you say go to for example here x is 0 y is 0 that's the first step now if it changes direction you also want to make it point to this direction so after going to x and y you want to make it point to this direction again if you want to put a block in the middle just simply hover in the middle then it will allow you to position it there so when I click this it starts here now you will not see the movement but if I'll make this 50 because it's, it's 200 steps there if I click it again it goes back to the zero direction now I want scratch to actually move from this location to this to this here again and go back to the start position so let me code it for you I'll just put this code on the side because it's okay to put some scripts on the side so in this case I want scratch to also still change the color it's okay change the color I will start with this position and I will also make it point to this direction again if you want to move you can sit and put this in the middle I can just make it change color effect by 25 and then this time the position is instead of 0 X and Y 0 I want it negative 177 and y 112 now I'll just show you what will happen if I will return this and then I will simply go and get this go to XY automatically the values of X and Y are placed there so I can just use this go to XY to this specific location and then point the direction to 90 I can change the color effect this time let's use the direction let's turn this to ninety degree, 15 degrees I'll change this to 90 degrees but before that I will make it move 50 steps or make this 200 steps let's see what will happen 
and then change the direction to 90. Let's make this run. There, it changes the direction. And then I will make it move again and turn 90 degrees. So if you want to duplicate a specific blocks, you can put it down. Then right click, duplicate. You would see the new blocks. So if I click here, move 290 degrees here. And if I will duplicate this again, and click this, it moves here and changes the direction. So I'll just add this here. I'll duplicate this again. I'll add it here. Then it goes back. So let me just run this. So it's so fast. You were not able to see it. So for you to be able to see it, let's just add the weight one second. So before it moves a specific step, I will make it weight and then let me get another weight. And since I will use two weight, I will duplicate, right click, duplicate, and then I will add this weight in our, after the turn to 90 degrees, and then after the turn to 90 degrees here. I can now, let's make it say hello to all of you first, and then let me move back those blocks. So when I click this, hello to all of you, Hello to all of you, and there. Now, if you want to run the Scratch program, we normally put an event here when click. So when this green flag is clicked, it will perform this activity. So let me click this. It performs the activity. Then if you want to see it in a Full screen control, click this one, full screen, and then click go. Now it's moving. Now I cannot see the change here when I click, so I might need to add one more weight here before the move just to better see the movement. Let me do this again. Oh, I think I missed out something here. So change here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I think it should be before the move. Okay, so that's changing it. Let me do this one more time. There, it's better. So this is the command to make it move in square now if you've noticed it's quite long and some of the blocks are repeating so let me just move this to show you the repeating blocks <coughs> one oops two three and we can actually just put one more here. You would see here that this blocks are repeating. And to shorten it, there is actually a repeat block. You can put all of these blocks into this repeat block. And 
simply change 10 to 4 and you can move all of these blocks back and it will do exactly the same as before now let me change this to another backdrop we can change it to a soccer field and move the location let's change the location instead of the 177 let's make it change to 127 we just simply click this number 127 then let's have the y to be just click this and a so when i click this to full screen and run there you would see that uh, it was able to move from one location to another. That's all for some scratch cat behavior.